at JCU and I've been an academic for 18 years and one of the most um, exciting areas of being an academic is to work with women as um, they go through their educational journey and to see what a huge difference education can make in women's lives. It's really potentially really transformative. But what I wanted to talk to you today about was um, an example of maybe that sort of casual sexism that can erode women, um, women's performance even or participation at, in the university. And it was an example where we went to see um, an educator, a man who was a teaching and learning expert and one of his areas of expertise was around teaching and encouraging diversity in, um, in the classroom. And all the time that he was talking about diversity and um, how you could, some of the strategies you could use to, um, to encourage people from diverse backgrounds into the university, he kept calling us, all of us guys. And it became more and more uncomfortable for the women in the classroom because we're women, we're not men, we're not guys. And it felt like uh, sort of an odd disconnect as we were um, hearing about the strength of diversity in the classroom, yet this total unawareness that was before us about um, the use of language and the power of the use of language and how it can um, make people invisible and, and again make women invisible by using a term that really is related to men and um, has sort of women can sort of be part of that term in a really informal way if, it, if they're lucky it sort of felt like and very quietly at the end of the workshop some of us women said we're women we're not guys but he didn't hear us and I thought that that was a very powerful example to share with you.